is the first team that I've saw that reminds me of our team. You know, the way they go out and perform, um, you know, the players they have, you know, they have household names now. One thing about this team is it's a very unselfish football team. And we were the same way in 93. So, obviously, we wish them well. We expect them to go out there and win today, and we'll see where their journey ends up. That was William Floyd and Derrick Brooks, members of that 1993 national championship team, the first in school history. Brad Dalton and Dave Griffiths back with the countdown to the championship. Dave, 20 years since that championship. Can we book in that with another one? Well, we will see. It will be the last time with the BCS. It would certainly be a nice round number to get that third championship in school history. But we really didn't think we'd be in this position. In fact, Florida State not even expected to win the ACC Atlantic Division this year, much less contend for a national title. A lot of questions surrounding this team after losing a lot of players to the NFL draft last year, but those questions quickly answered this season. Florida State announced that they would be major players this year in the opening game of the season, a convincing win over Pittsburgh on Labor Day. At the end of September, the Seminoles would see one of the biggest challenges of the season in a 14-point win on the road against Boston College. And that would end up being the closest game of this year. A highly anticipated top 10 showdown with Clemson turned out to be only a showcase of the amount of talent that the Knolls possess on both sides of the ball. The Seminoles would claim the state championship and bragging rights over their two biggest rivals, Miami and Florida. The Knolls beating the Canes and Gators by a combined 57 points. In Charlotte, FSU would repeat as ACC champions by knocking off Duke, remaining unbeaten on the season and setting up a spot in the BCS National Championship game later tonight. Pasadena, we come, baby! Just how early did you know Florida State would have the chance to have a very special season? Well, the Knowles were ranked 11th in the preseason polls this year, so nationally they were respected, but not expected to contend for a title. Even the coaching staff entered the season unsure, but that sentiment quickly changed. You know, going into the season with a freshman quarterback, not really knowing what to expect, yeah, seeing some good things in practice, but actually going into that game and seeing the performance and seeing how well that not only the quarterback played, but receivers running the bikes, defense, special team, how everything just started to click. We, we, we felt right then if we continue to just work hard and get better each and every week, we had a chance to have something special. For both the Florida State Seminoles and the Auburn Tigers, this BCS National Championship is almost like another opening day. Yes, it's true that the Tigers and Seminoles have each played 13 games already this season, but it's also true that neither has played in one month. How to stay sharp and also stay healthy during this time, one of the main concerns of the coaching staff. It's a delicate balance, but the one that handles it the best will come out on top later tonight. How do you practice? How physical are you in practice? Because the best way to be good at playing football is to play it and, and, and to practice the way you play. And obviously that uh, football is a physical sport and involves a lot of contact. But every time you go out there and do that, you're scared to death. You're not going to get to the game with all your good players. And uh, I think our team's responded well. We, I look forward to the challenge. Well, it certainly has been a very long month of waiting for players and fans alike, but now we're only about an hour away from kickoff. From some of these players, it hasn't been just a month of waiting. It's been four years since coming to Florida State to play in a game like this. One kid from Lowndes High School, well, he's no kid anymore. Telvin Smith is a full-grown man. And it's not just Tallahassee kids that are playing with Florida State and Tallahassee area kids. We also have some Tallahassee kids that are playing on the Auburn Tigers, and we're going to have a chance to visit with them in just a couple of minutes.